Hello everyone, it's December the 9th, 2014. I'm making this video to let you all know about my home Wi-Fi removal experience. Let me start out by saying that I'm learning more and more about the dangers of Wi-Fi. My very dear friend has been drilling into my head about the symptoms that she feels every day, 24-7, with the Gwen Towers and these frequencies and the Wi-Fi and honestly I have to say and I'm sh shamefully saying this that it wasn't until I started putting two and two together and realized that I too am being affected by these frequencies and this Wi-Fi that I felt that I was able to make a change and my change came slow I was very stubborn I was thinking it's not going to happen to me and I finally got the Wi-Fi out of my house today and I feel so relieved to have finally done it just just finally taken the steps to get it done um, so I'm learning more and about, more about these these dangers of Wi-Fi and these frequencies and some of the symptoms that I've been experiencing the physical symptoms of Wi-Fi exposure I've been experiencing them for several years but I didn't realize what it was I didn't realize that these symptoms that I have are connected to all of these frequencies and I think I've been suffering from these symptoms for years now three or four years now but I just didn't know what was happening and some of my symptoms are that I'm getting memory problems I am a physically fit person I feel for my age and 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 how much I work out and the way that I've taken care of myself over the years I consider myself to be fit and I have, for, I'm have, forgetting things that I shouldn't forget that are just regular routine things. I have headaches that I never got headaches before. I've never been a person that had headaches until the last few years. Um, I get sudden temperature increases at the same time each day. Um, just out of nowhere, I'll just get really hot. Um, I get tingling in my hand when I use my laptop computer when it's connected to Wi-Fi. When I'm touching that finger pad, my finger tingles. Um, I have joint pain, I have mood swings, I get depressed out of nowhere, I'll just have a meltdown. Um, my eyes get blurry. My eyes have been blurry all day and the skies look absolutely a mess. And I have joint pain. I have joint pain in my wrist near the joints that I use when I'm operating my laptop. So I've been experiencing these symptoms that just not knowing how to put it all together until just recently. So um, this is just my experience with getting Wi-Fi out of the house today. Last Tuesday I called my local cable and internet company just asking for an appointment for a technician to come out to the house and to have the Wi-Fi removed. And the first customer service rep didn't fully understand my questions and asked me if she could connect me to a troubleshooting tech person. And I said okay. And the second person that I spoke to regarding my request understood but was more concerned with trying to connect keep me connected because he said that my devices I wouldn't be able to connect my devices if I got rid of all my Wi-Fi and it wouldn't it would be very inconvenient and I wouldn't you know have all that convenience and I said well I understand that and I I want it gone and so I said that I understood perfectly that I believe that the Wi-Fi was making me feel sick and he kept telling me all of the troubleshooting solutions that I needed to try followed by this request to me that I mail back the box the Wi-Fi box to the company and I finally just said no I wasn't mailing back anything and that I wanted a real person to come to the house and help me get set up a new grounded connection for my computer so finally he connected me to a third person who scheduled an in-home appointment for me and to my surprise I could only book my appointment one week ahead so fortunately I got an appointment today um, the technician who came to the house was very nice he proceeded to remove the Wi-Fi box installed a second modem in a different part of the house and then did some troubleshooting to get both modems working the first modem is for my husband's computer and I've been you know bouncing my laptop off of his modem for two or three years now to um, get my Wi-Fi connection and so that 
modem in that box is staying intact. So this second modem is for me and it's upstairs and it will be just for my computer. So the Wi-Fi is gone, the box is gone, it's out of the house. But interestingly though, when you're setting up two modems in the same house, you have to go through billing and customer service because one modem was not working. So they had to be called and the billing had to be arranged for two modems before it would even work. And it had to be, you know, billed to, to the cable bill, the cable internet bill. So once that billing was set up, both modems started working and the technician trouble, troubleshot and did a lot of work. And it's, it's all working now, which is great. I'm, I'm very happy about that. Um, you know, I mentioned to the, the Wi-Fi technician that I felt that the Wi-Fi was dangerous, that I had been told by... Well, I've been reading and, and been talking to people, and I felt that it was dangerous. And he didn't directly respond to my concerns about Wi-Fi being dangerous, but he did say that he had heard that cell phones were dangerous, and that his wife's cousin, who was 29 years old, had recently discovered that she had a square-sized mass on her breast. And he stated that the cousin had carried her cell phone in her bra, and that the square-sized mass was the size and shape of her cell phone. So as we talked more, he stated that the doctors called her con her condition as, quote, tissue buildup. And as we talked more, I asked him if any of his previous customers that he had gone to their homes to, to install or, or set up Internet connections had asked to have their Wi-Fi removed, and he said no, that I was the first one who had he had worked with that had asked to have it removed. So for those of you who want to have your Wi-Fi removed, just be prepared to get the runaround over the phone with customer service with your local internet company and be persistent. Ask for a real person and a real appointment and it, it will be worth it. Um, I struggled at first with, with getting my Wi-Fi out. I was I was kept thinking, oh, it won't happen to me and I'm not around it very much and I don't use my computer that much. And I was just being lazy and kind of living in denial. You know, I just didn't think that it was going to make me that sick, but I really, really know that it is. And I found this website called Wi-Fi Analyzer, and if you go to any internet browser and, and find, just look up Wi-Fi Analyzer, you can pull up in your area all of the Wi-Fi signals that are intersecting with each, with each other. And in my neighborhood, there were 17 homes with Wi-Fi around me. Now, the signals aren't that high, so they say, but it's all overlapping like a Venn diagram. Everything is intersecting, everything is overlapping, and everything is bombarding me and all of us every day. But you can see in this graph how it's all operating at the same time and intersecting at the same time. So, it shows in a, just a simple graph how to see how it's it's all working around us and it's invisible we just don't see it um but i had 17 homes near near me with all of these wi-fi connections and all of these signals intersect and and are just bombarding us with these frequencies um i'm glad that i got the wi-fi out of the house it took th a three-hour appointment the technician arrived at noon and didn't leave until after three so it was a big chunk of time and it, it, it's hard to find big chunks of time in our schedules. I know we're all busy, but I wish I had done it sooner. So I just want to ask you all to be safe and be well and be proactive for your own health. I know it's hard. It takes a lot of energy to get it out, and it takes money, which is hard, I know, in this economy for us to, to spend that extra money. But I think in the long run, it's, it's going to make us healthier. And I know just by my own experience that it took work for me to take action. So... Just a you know, final note, the cable and internet company called me shortly after the technician left and asked me to respond to a survey about my experience. And I rated the technician good because he, he really helped me solve my problem and he didn't um, shame me into keeping it the Wi-Fi. And, and, and I know he has a job to do and um, it's his livelihood. All of this internet and Wi-Fi is his livelihood. So... You know, he, he, gave a, he gave me a great experience, and I appreciate it. But for those of you that are trying to get your Wi-Fi out, be persistent. It's, it's, it's difficult for a reason. They make it hard because they don't want you to get it out. They don't want you to get rid of it. They want to keep you 
connected and keep you a customer. So just uh, just try as best you can to get it out. And I hope that you're all safe and, and healthy, and I hope you have a great day. Thanks for watching.